Hi, uh, this is Brian Crescenti with Polygon. I'm here in New York at the Sony Style Store, and with me is Dylan Job, who's the president of Lightbox Interactive. That is correct. And you, people may know you from prior to Lightbox Interactive from working on Warhawk. Right. Um, and now you're working on Starhawk, which that, that which is two you two correct answers. Two correct so answers, far. and I like to call that. Maybe this isn't accurate, but I love to call it Warhawk in space because that's Cause, my cause little, that you like that. my child brain. That's okay. It. We can call it Warhawk in space. <laughs> um, so uh, you are showing off single player today. Yeah, um, we've got we've got single player here. Um, you know, you're basically getting the out of box experience uh, when the story starts, um, telling the backstory of Emmett Graves, right? Um, and kind of sets up the universe. Um, and that's the the way we actually developed the game was we we develop the core mechanics first of the building and the run and gun and all of that stuff. We were running blue stick men around for a long time. Right. Then we created the uh, fiction of the universe before we even had a hero. Um, worked with a really uh, great concept artist, Ian McCaig, who did work with George Lucas, designed Darth Maul. Um, and we brought him into the studio and we did this really great kind of universe creation kind of war room process. Built the universe and then we said, okay, well now we've got the mechanics. Now that we've got the universe on top of it, now let's extract a, a little bit of the story from that universe right. and make that what the single player campaign is about. Because everyone knows our multiplayer, I mean, we just finished up our beta, players right. loved it, it's build and battle, it's, it's great. Um, but I think players are a little bit still unsure as to what to expect from our single player campaign and we're real happy with the way it turned out. It's not just a multiplayer tutorial. It's it really is, you know, a story about Emmett Graves. Well, and it's interesting, Warhawk, when you were developing that for the PlayStation 3, there was a time that, that launched as a multiplayer only game, mm -hmm. but there was a time when you guys were working on single player for that. Yep. Um, and at some point you guys basically said, no, we're just doing multiplayer. Yeah. We worked on a single player game for, for Warhawk and it was not coming together. Um, I'm going to judge you, by the way, all the way through <laughs> your gameplay. Are you an inverted player? No, I'm no? not. Okay. It just if looks you, like I am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just play inverted on TV. Uh, yeah, if you need to switch your options, you can go into the settings menu. So, now, and then you also uh, um, just finished, you just wrapped up the beta, uh, yeah. open beta you guys had, which, by the way, loved playing it. What, uh, what do you feel like you learned from that? What sort of changes might uh, happen because of that beta? Oh, well, the beta was great. And it, what we tried to do, we, what we pitched Sony on the concept of doing a real beta. Because I think a lot of times, Betas are treated like a demo. Like your, mar right. your publisher's marketing team says, oh, let's do a beta because we want to talk about, but it's just a demo. So it's just, you know, a build of the game and you're just going to throw it out and players are going to wail on it and that's about it. And that was not how we did it at all. We had a very specific, like, small production plan all revolving around um, the beta. We had multiple versions of the beta. We had a hot fix system that allowed us to pump new tuning updates new weapon updates, all of that stuff. And so we were, it wasn't just like, oh, do your beta and then we'll update it later for the fans. Certainly we have some updates after our 1.3 patch. Right. But it was more about, our beta was a live interaction with our fans on Facebook, on Twitter, on the forums. We were releasing updates like every 48 hours, every 72 hours. People would say, oh, the homing missile is overpowered or I don't like the, the, the scrubbing, it needs to be more fluid or the hawk needs to be faster, whatever. And believe me, the internet, you know, right. you get all kinds of critique and feedback. Um, but it was actually super beneficial for the team. Um, at the very end of the beta, when we released our 1.3 update, um, we, um, of course the team was in crazy crunch mode, um, so we weren't rolling out as many updates as we really wanted to, but we were still making notes and updating um, all of our kind of task lists on all the things we wanted to do for our day one patch. Good right. shooting, Tex. Thank you. Um, and so that, that, of course, will go out in the day one patch when everyone gets the game on May 8th. May 8th. That was, that was an obligatory that was your, Sony your plug. plug. <laughs> right. Now we can talk normally again. What, so uh, the, uh, the game is, despite, that it, uh, despite having a single player campaign, it's still, it sounds like you think people are going to live more online. Yeah, well, I mean, the with the term. shooter, um, shooters live and die by their multiplayer gameplay, in my opinion. And our multiplayer gameplay is great. Uh, with we, we took a gamble, for sure, because it's not just another hallway runner with big set pieces. Um, you know, it is a... It is a much more involved shooter. You just can't run through an environment and shoot people in the face. 
of course, here in the beginning mission, I'm gonna, you can't. I'm going to run through it. Because you can't build yet, but, <laughs> but eventually you'll get the building functionality. Right. And um, it, it's very much about combat challenges and puzzles. And I've even when we did our reveal um, back in Austin many, many moons ago, you know, I, I said, you know, we were, we were inspired by tower defense games. We were inspired by um, Plants vs. Zombies, the concept that you're presented with. Um, you know, enemy units that are trying to take a position and you're given a set of tools to, to try to beat it. And that very much uh, is true throughout the whole campaign of Starhawk. But it's not just all about defending a specific spot. You know, there's a lot of combat where you have to go and fight into a specific area, right. then maybe defend or engage in a big aerial dogfight. Um, so there's a, a lot of kind of classic objectives that you might actually see from a real-time strategy game. Um, show up in uh, Starhawk. The blood on your screen, Brian, means that you're low on health. Is that what that, I was Bri wondering, it was subtle. Brian needs food. Right. Oh, good, you shoot those guys in the back. That's the way I roll. Yeah. The currency in the game is Rift Energy, and so you kill things and destroy things and you get Rift Energy. You don't have to chip away at, you know, you know rock or right, harvest right. trees or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, you basically kill things to get Rift Energy, and then you spend Rift Energy to build more things to kill more stuff. Right. Um, and you press triangle, uh, brings up your build and battle menu, um, and it shows you the inventory slots of structures that you can have in your arsenal. Um, in the very beginning of the game, which right. is where you're playing through right now, you have a very limited palette. Um, so he's basically right now, Cutter, who's the guy up in the dropship, he's telling you, you know, you'll probably want to build a bunker. Um, you don't have to build it there. You can build it wherever you want. You could build it, you know, right there if you wanted to. Um, you press so triangle, right, select and go the, to that. right. Yeah. And then that hologram is um, placed, you know, out onto the battlefield. And um, even on multiplayer, you get to see other players build holograms. So you can use that as a way to strategize. Right, and then th some of these uh, structures have things like, in this case, new weapons, yeah. and ammo, and... Yeah, so structures, um, some structures are uh, pretty, for lack of a better term, plain Jane. A turret. You have a ground turret, it shoots ground targets. Right. Easy peasy. Um, but you have supply bunkers that have shielded windows, and they have um, sockets for upgrades on the top, and um, your AI units know to get inside the bunker. You can build, you know, all kinds of different structures that yield lots of different behavior in the game. Uh, but of course the turrets are going to be targets for the AI. Um, and in this beginning mission, um, you know, you don't, you don't have the outpost, which is uh -oh. what's used to bring in your own allied reinforcements. Right. Um, right, and, and that's worth noting. I can call in later on. I can call an AI, basically. Yeah, yeah and you, you call an AI. We often get asked, you know, um, do you give them orders? Do you tell them, go over here, or go? You don't do that at all. Um, because we, we wanted to keep, we didn't want players to have to manage anything. Right. Um, so what we ended up doing was um, the AI brains um, are hinted based on the structures that you build, right? So okay. um, if you build a bunker uh, and you have AI near you, then the AI assume, okay, he, if, if he built a bunker and he's inside the bunker, he wants me in the bunker too. I got you. Or if okay. you build a sniper tower that comes with a sniper rifle, um, then they know to um, climb up the ladder, get the sniper rifle for themselves. Or they can go even one step further. If you build a launch pad that spawns hawks, they know to get on the launch pad, access the control panel, um, and you know get a hawk and can fly around and all of that. Right, right. Now, uh, at home playing, yeah. Uh, Warhawk had four player, this will have two. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that decision, why you yeah. uh, cut it down to two? Um, so we saw that um, based on the usage pattern, there was a, um, a really small amount of players in the grand scheme of things that really used the four player split. And the four player split takes an enormous amount of processing to do right. Right. Um, and we already spent so much of our technology um, and you know, real-time budget on being able to do everything dynamically in the game with build and battle, with the AI, with every, all the lighting is dynamic. There's no pre-baked everything. Anything. Um, we opted to say, look, you know, more people. The common usage pattern is two-player split, so right. we're going to go with two-player split. Um, and it's just it's one of those decisions that you you make on a development. You know, you've got to weigh pros and cons for all of it, and, and that's just where we ended up on that.
Let's see what else I got in my in my arsenal. Uh, a bunker. Room. There we go. I'm gonna put that right, uh, right there. There we go. So the supply bunker again gives you pickups and all of that stuff. Are you gonna have a special achievement for the first time you crush yourself with your own building? Um, no, but we do have a, a trophy because in Sony's world they're trophies. Uh, trophies, that's what, that's what I meant. Um, yes. <laughs> um, there is a trophy for crushing someone with the building. It's called a man cake. What the? What's this guy doing up here? Um, Get out of he, here. Well, so the AI is advanced. He will, R3 is melee, Brian. Oh, that's true. Wait, hold on. See, look here. at him. He totally schooled you. He did. He, he ran away. He led you off the baby. edge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so the interesting thing about the supply bunker is that even though it has a protective door, right. um, there is an access uh, ladder that the AI is smart enough to know, and they'll climb up so when you saw him, he was trying to hop down the hatch. So, and that was quick. I mean, th he, did not, was. He, he didn't screw around. He, he, didn't, he, he hates you. So this uh, single player, uh, you would liken in length to something like a Call of Duty campaign? Yeah, yeah we, um, you know, I think uh, players and um, media, can I call you a journo? Are you a journo? Sure. Is that Why not? derogatory for a media I, person? There's no way to be derogatory towards me. Really? Well, it's probably not true. It's, there's it's, lots it's, and lots of ways. There's lots of ways, <laughs> but we won't go there. Yes. Um, yeah, uh, the Starhawk single player um, is a great experience. It, you know, you see the story of Emmett Graves, you have all this really unique gameplay, mission after mission. It's completely fresh, there's no rehash. Um, and the gameplay is about uh, the duration of Call of Duty single player campaign. So, okay. yeah. you know, a, a, a quick run of the Call of Duty campaign is what, like six hours? Right, yeah. Um, and players are gonna see that with, with the Starhawk campaign too. Um, and can you, uh, does your character have any persistence in terms of leveling up? Um, we originally, uh, so short answer, no. Okay. Uh, originally, we wanted you to be able to earn XP in single player and have oh. it carry over in a multiplayer. Right. And we went that way for a really long time, except that we found um, we were, we were tr really trying to balance um, skill score and don't go anywhere. No. Don't go. Oh, wait, 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 oh, but wait, wait, that's wait. fine. You know what? This is, st you know, no, you Why'd you freak you out? You freaked me out. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're it's, like, don't do it's it, not, Brian. That's not, I'm backseat driving. And uh, you wrecked your Sidewinder. Can I kick, kick it over? Yeah, just kick it over. Kick it over. And there, okay, you this is what out. happens when people talk to me while I'm driving. I'm sorry, I'll shut, up. I'll shut up now. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, we were talking okay. during the tutorial section. So. Yes, so press and hold R1 or L1? Uh, R1. Okay. Oh, I see. There you go. And then release. <laughs> and it'll track out ahead of them. Bam. Wow, that is awesome. And, and again, everybody should remember this is, you could do the all the all most of these things in uh, multiplayer. Oh, you can do people, all this stuff in multiplayer. People will be in Starhawks, yep. they'll be doing all kinds of things. Absolutely. Is there anything you were surprised about during that beta? Yes. Like, what? Tell me, I need to know. Um, well, we had an enormously diverse, look at that. That's all. That was a money shot. I hope that got recorded. That was. Did that get recorded? That was Good. very cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of stuff. I mean, we had. Um, the internet is opinionated. No. Yeah, it is. Um, and you don't always agree with, with all of it, of course, uh, but some of it is good, painful feedback. One of the oh, things that occurred so great. Uh, in the beta was there was a particular flight mode that we had in Warhawk that a group of fans really, really wanted. And right. they emailed me and tweeted me all forms of hatred. And um, we ended up bringing it back. So like this was during the beta, it was like, holy shit, these guys really want arcade flight mode back. So we went back to our code base um, and pulled out the um, uh, arcade mode, um, wired it into the systems, and um, re-released it to the fans in the beta. I think you just cr we just crashed this debug unit. Good job, but look at that picture. That's a great, That's you could good. just say this is actually the reward. You've just your, unlocked full screen art. Yes, your, your TV turns into a painting. Right. This is because I did such a good job. Mm -hmm. Good job. And you're, he's getting a boot to the face. <laughs> Not too bad. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for taking so much time. Oh, this yeah. is a, probably Absolutely. a good a good ending point. There we go. Right. <laughs> yeah. So in, in post, you'll edit it. It's not a no. it's not a, 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 a defect. It's a it's we wanted art. to end on cool imagery well, for this the is video. Free wallpaper for our viewers. Right. They can screenshot this and with Photoshop yes. do stuff with it. Excellent. Put my head right there or right Ooh. there. Yeah. Or both. 